Hello, my crafty friends. I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chaunty Rocco Creative Designs. Today, I have another wonderful craft haul from Crafter's Companion. Last week, I received the Sarah Signature Letters from the Heart collection. I purchased this from HSN during their craft event, and I'm so excited to share it with you. These are all of the items that you receive in your package. I'm going to clear off my desktop so we can review the paper pad first. I'll be right back. This is a paper collection that you receive. It's 12 by 12. You receive three each of 16 different designs. I love the beautiful pastel colors. This is a very romantic paper collection. So let's take a look. This is the first page and you have this all over muted pink background with script writing. It is double-sided, and on the back side, you have this darker, muted, almost sepia color, also with script writing. The next page, you have this all-over rose. You have creams and peaches, and in the back, you have almost the color of a parchment paper and script writing. And on the back, you have these beautiful roses and a light peach. The next page you have this muted light peach color. You also have a deep dark brown script writing. And in the corner you have these beautiful graphics. You've got this large stamp and these beautiful roses. On the back you have this light muted blue with a rose pattern. The next page has this light muted pink with soft pink roses. And you've got this beautiful lace detail here on the side and more script writing. On the back, you have this light brown color with a beautiful floral print. The next page has more of this beautiful lace on the top and bottom. And you have these large, gorgeous roses on either side and more of the script writing ghosted in the back. On the back, you have a light pink and an all over floral design. The next page, you have more of these large, beautiful flowers, more lace detail on the top. And I love this muted blue in the center. Very pretty. And you can see ever so slightly these printed roses in the background. This is a back side. You have two shades of a very faint blue in a beautiful all over floral pattern. On the next page, you have this beautiful distressed page and turquoise. You've got more of the script writing and watercolor flowers on either side. On the back, you have this beautiful muted pink color with script writing. Next, we have this brown pattern with a floral design in the center and more beautiful flowers on the sides. On the back, you have this cream and light brown color with ghosted rose details in the back. On the next page, we have a light pink background with more of this beautiful lace detail on the top and the bottom. You have ghosted roses in the back and then this beautiful floral spray in the corner. On the back, you have this light pink background with a dark printed rose all over. Next, you have a light mint green page, more script in the middle, and beautiful flowers flanking either side of the page. On the back, you've got this beautiful distressed blue with more script writing. On this page, you have a very, very light sepia tone. You've got these beautiful flowers. You have an envelope here that says airmail and more script writing. More pastel colors in the back with script writing. On this page, you have more of a mauve and a deeper pink color. You have stamps ghosted in the background. On the back, you have this beautiful paper and a cream with this pink lace trim on the top and the bottom. Next, you have this beautiful pink color. Actually, it's more of a salmon color with these beautiful white and peach roses. These all look like they're hand painted. On the back, you have this very light brown with more of that lace trim on the top and the bottom. On the next page, this looks more like a distressed craft sheet with stamps, script writing, and beautiful hand painted flowers in the corner. On the back, you have this muted pink, more stamps, and a light shadow of dots in the background. Next, you have this light brown color with more of this beautiful lace detail on the top and these flowers and peach pop off the page. On the back you have this beautiful light blue floral print. 
Next, you have this page, which is in a light, light lilac, and you have these beautiful floral prints on the side and more script writing in the center. And for the last page, you have this all over muted green with more floral detail in the background. This is a beautiful paper pad. Let's look at some of the other items in the paper collection. Next, we have these beautiful embossing folders. They're called lace edges, and you have two separate embossing folders. These mimic the images that you saw on the paper pad. You have another embossing folder. This is called traditional script, and it's a beautiful embossing folder. This is what it looks like on the back. We have another embossing folder that's called vintage postmark. We also have two stamp sets. The first one is called Loving Sentiment, and some of these sentiments say, do more of what makes you happy, written with love, be mine. Here's a close up. The next stamp set is called Classic Postmarks, and you get 22 stamps in this one. Next, we have three different die sets. The first one, is called torn note paper and you receive nine pieces here so these look like little torn pieces of paper you have a sentiment that says i love you a little butterfly a heart and a flower next you have the lace envelope this is really fun this is what the envelope looks like you have the die sets as well as the stamps and you get 29 pieces so here's the die set and all of the stamps. The next stamp and die set is called a classic typewriter. This is what it looks like. You get this wonderful typewriter as well as all of these stamps and you have 28 pieces. And last but not least, we have this wax seal kit. In it, you receive this key as well as a heart and then you receive a red and a bronze color wax and this is what the seals look like this concludes my review of the Sarah Signature Letters from the Heart. This is a beautiful romantic collection and it is quite different from the Vintage Diary collection that I showed you yesterday. Hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up, leave a message, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please be sure to visit my channel to see what wonderful projects I create with this collection. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and happy crafting.